All right, everybody, welcome back to Physics Games. Doing some more Shapes IO gameplay today. So last time we were able to make that weird, uh, I don't even know how to describe it, yellow circle with a bunch of shurikens. Now we got to make this snow globe looking guy. And it looks like what we're going to need to do is find one of these pinwheel shapes, which I'm pretty sure you don't actually ever find a fully made pinwheel shape. We have to combine it together you know, make an amalgamation of a bunch of other pinwheels. Uh, we're also going to need a full circle, and then half a circle and half of a square. So, hmm, I guess we could start by trying to find a good place to get this pinwheel, because that's probably going to be the hardest shape to find. And then from there, we'll have to look for the paint. We definitely need blue, but since there's a white circle, we're going to need all three colors in order to make it. So let's go ahead, we'll try to find a place for that, and then we'll jump back into it. Alright, well I'm not sure if this is quite the right place to be starting here, but it looks like it'll work. Uh, I'm picking this spot particularly because we have two pieces of the pinwheel here. We have another two pieces of the pinwheel over here. We have this half circle, half square shape. And the last thing we need is a full circle, which I don't see any of around here, but we have this guy, which is pretty close. And we can be taking halves or slices from other pieces like here or here or here. So we're just going to go ahead and get started with that. I think what I want to start with first is making the pinwheel. Then from there, I would want to make the circle. And then finally make that final shape, the half circle, half square. And then once we have those running at our max capacity, we'll start looking at painting each one and then the stacking. So let's go ahead, let's start with that pinwheel. We have two pieces here and we have another two pieces here. So I think if we work with both of those, then we can try to get a conveyor belt saturated with just the pinwheel shape and that'll be a, a good start for now. So if we split in half, top to bottom, with the regular, and it comes in here. What are we getting on the outside? So this side we could trash, we don't need it. But this we would need two of, one for the left side and one for the right side. So let me check and see how that works. So let's split that, and we're gonna separate them just to make it easier to look at. Put those rotators in. Well actually, sorry, this one doesn't need a rotator. And this one needs two rotators, no matter what kind. I don't have like a 180 variant, do I? No. So now if I stack these guys... I should get, yep, the full pinwheel. Okay. So we can make a full pinwheel out of this shape alone. So let me make this more repeatable. We need the 1 to 6 here. And then the three that come out of the top we'll say are the left side and the three that come out of the bottom we'll say are the right hand side and then we'll have to stack them at 0 0.75 items a second let me know what you guys think of the uh the shapes io stuff feel free to you know drop some comments hit that like or dislike button depending on what you think of the game and we're gonna obviously be putting out more of these videos so you know if you want to hit that subscribe button and see what else we got coming up you know the next levels or upgrades and whatnot i'd really appreciate that that'd be great so we have left hand side we said the top ones we'll keep as left and the bottom ones we will switch to right so we need two rotators and then i'm going to want to take these and probably put them in a three to one and then we can figure it out from there what we're going to do all right that looks good to me a new upgrade available Oh, we get faster belts, distributors, and tunnels. Okay. Oh, so now we only need one shape to go up. We don't need a big list of shapes. That's good. So it might be worth just upgrading these guys so we only have to deal with one shape instead of a bunch of stuff. All right. In any case, that means our belts are now faster, so we have to do even more work. We want 12 items a second. Right now we've got four and a half, four and a half. Four and a half, four and a half. So we'll be able to get up to nine items a second. So we'll need three more. Now we have to actually stack them. So for these, we have four and a half on each of them. And we've been saying what? Four and a half divided by 0 0.75 is six. And I think I've done that math like 13 times already in this one video. Six of these, each of these is going to need to go into a one to six. 
And now we need to put those into a stacker, and it really doesn't matter which side is on the left or right, since they're flipped. So they won't get stacked on top of each other. Okay. But we can't just do this because we need the opposites on each side. So what's the best way for us to combine them where I can still just leave stackers in a row? Alright, bottom guy goes into here. Next guy comes up, goes to this one. And now we're running into problems already. That's a good start. Always like to have problems early on. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six of those guys. We gotta copy that again. Now everyone should be feeding in, okay? You're all feeding in, and you're all feeding in. Alright, so then we take that and we go to the three to one. Okay, now let's check with that belt reader. We wanna see 12. That looks pretty good to me. So it's not gonna be quite 12, especially if it's taken an average and it doesn't clear out its old information. I mean, I don't exactly know how it works, of course, but that's what I would assume it's doing. So that's about as good as we're gonna get. So we need to take those and paint them blue. But for now, let's just work on producing the other shapes. So let's get 12 a second white circles. Well, sorry, like I just said, we're gonna wait on painting. Just 12 a second circles, period. So let's just do a little practice, make sure that our shape works. Okay, so the bottom we don't need. That's junk. So we're gonna take this guy here. And what do we wanna do? We want one of them to be rotated and one of them to not be rotated, right? So we have to rotate twice no matter what. Because we need a 180 degree turn. And then stack those again. Nice. Okay, so now we got circles coming out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight of those. And eight times 0 0.75 is six. So we should only be getting six items a second out of that. You know, that belt reader is very nice. I'm surprised I wasn't using it in the previous videos. I probably really should be using it way more often to check on uh, if my math is right on how many of these I need and if I'm getting balanced outputs. All right, so now we take that put it in see how fast we're going seven a little less than seven six and a half six six a second so I'm gonna need two of these in order to get to 12 a second and we expect to see another six a second and then we'll combine those into one 12 a second we'll bring it over and we'll figure out painting after we get the last shape this little like snow globe looking guy Yep, 12 a second. All right, perfect. So now we make that snow globe shape, which I'm pretty sure we already had something just fully made. Yeah, it's right here. We just need to rotate it twice. There's another one over here that we don't even have to rotate, actually, so why don't we just use that? We'll make that a lot easier. We get 12 a second of those. We'll bring it over here where we're getting 12 a second pinwheels, and then we can bring the circle over, and we'll figure out painting from there. We can make white with these three, and blue, I mean, it's just blue, right? You don't really have to do anything. So we'll figure that out next. And now obviously I'm not gonna be using these in the exact same spot. I just want them in one area so that I can easily pull from them all at once. Oh man, my computer is chugging. I really need to invest in building a new computer, but um, I don't know if you guys know this, but uh, apparently every other person on the planet wants to do that too, so it's pretty hard to get the parts. Now the snow globe one, this should be the easiest one to get 12 a second, because we can just extract 12 a second, right? I'm gonna bring it over to this trash, just so we have everything in one spot. And just run it through the reader, because we're anal and we want to know that it actually is 12. Alright, it is 12. All right, now let's figure out the paint. We're gonna need 12 a second of blue, 12 a second of white, and then 12 a second again of blue. So let's grab the blue, because it sounds like that's gonna be where we might run into problems with just not having enough. And then we need to make white paint, uh, but for now I might just figure out how to do 12 a second painting easily, because we're gonna need that three times over. So it's probably a good idea just to get that in a very efficient or compact way. 
So I'm gonna need the paint coming in on the top, shapes coming in on the left, and let's see, I'm gonna need a one to six and another one to six. So let's go to the splitter blueprints. And what are we painting blue here? Our pinwheel and our little snow globe. Let's take our pinwheel for now. So we should have 12 lanes of these blue pinwheels. All right, and now I think we can just copy and paste this three times. Okay, so we got blue pinwheels and now we need this blue snow globe. All right, blue snow globe, and then we're gonna need to get white paint and put the circle into that one. So let's put our circle in and then we can get the white paint from there. All right, so now we should be getting 12 a second of white paint. So I need to do, this was 10, right? A five to one for both sides and then two to one. So we have all of our components and now we need to stack them accurately. So we're gonna want our circle and the pinwheel first and then this guy second. I probably should switch the location of these factories actually. That would make this a lot easier. Maybe I'll do that. Uh, it's a bit of a headache since we've already laid it out as is, but that would make this much easier for us. So let's go ahead and do that. So we need the blue pinwheel to be stacked on top of the white circle. And once again, the right input is placed on top. And these are at 0.75 items a second. Our painter is at one item a second. So these are coming out at one a second. I need 12 a second. 12 divided by 0 0.75 is 16. So I would need 16 stackers. Something like that. Might work, I don't know. Let's see what we get out. Yeah, that looks right. We're getting it on all of them? Oh. Didn't connect these. It's only me. So now we should have 12 a second of this shape here. Right? And then we're gonna need that and combine it with this guy. Which is just gonna be a copy of this whole big mess. Alright, we're back. Sorry about that jump cut there, but uh, my little doggy started crying that he needed dinner. So where were we? I don't understand how dogs get anxious. What do you gotta worry about? Somebody else like feeds you and like takes care of you all the time? I guess they can get lonely, that part I understand. But like, your life's pretty good. What do you gotta be anxious about? You just kinda eat and sleep. You get boring after a while. Though. Teddy. Teddy, stop. <laughs> it's Teddy. I just wanna record the video. You gotta stop, guy. All right, we cleaned up that area, so now we can hopefully just copy and paste this over to here. And then we bring this last piece into there. I don't know how we're getting these shapes out of here. Does not seem like that's gonna work. Well, I guess what I can do is this. And after all of that, we should hopefully just be seeing 12 a second forever. Which it looks like we are. Nice. Look at that, beautiful. Maybe not actually beautiful, probably ugly, but it works. So we gotta take that and bring it to the hub. All right, so now that spot's freed up and we're gonna have to try to bring our new shape into there, which where did we end up finishing it? Right here. All right, so let's take it around town. All right, so we should be getting 12 a second for 20,000 of those, it's gonna take a while. 20,000 divided by 12 is 1,666 seconds divided by 60 seconds, about 28 minutes. Um, I guess I could make another one, but it seems like my dog is very upset that he's not getting even more food than he's supposed to get. 
So maybe I'll just give him some play time while we wait for those 30 minutes. And we'll come back to it once the level looks like it's about done. Alright, we're back. Looks like we're about to hit that 20,000 mark and my dog is done crying. Now we've got a variant of the painter and we can process two shapes at once. Oh, that's perfect. So now we can do pretty much twice as fast with the same amount of paint. Nice. What the heck is that, dude? What? We're gonna make an alien head? That's weird. Alright. Uh, honestly, I think I will make my next video being unlocking these three guys here. Or I shouldn't say unlocking, really. Just upgrading these three guys here. Yeah, we're going to be falling behind the belt speed and we're going to end up with some weird ratios for the number of items we need. Like, we needed 16 of these painters to the one belt, which was just... That's pretty crazy. We got to catch up on these guys and then uh, from there we'll probably go ahead and make this alien shape. But in any case, uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like, leave a comment. If you didn't like it, hit dislike, give me some feedback. And if you're interested in seeing some more Shapes.io gameplay, some Wizards of Legends, Enter the Gungeon, or any other kind of gameplay, just let me know. Hit that subscribe button and drop a comment below telling me what you want to see. Alright, peace.